Hey everyone, welcome back to our Minecraft Medieval Castle tutorial. My name is Blue and today we're going to head inside the castle and start finishing up some of the interior. Now if you guys are new here, please be sure to check the playlist link out in the description if you want to follow along and build this castle in your world. If you like what you see, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell if you want to get notified every time I post a new video. Now that being said, let's get building. Okay, let's start with some simpler rooms. So we're going to come in the castle and we're going to head up towards the library. So let's go all the way up the stairs here. And come around here. Once we get to the library, we're going to head straight down to these double doors at the end here. And we're going to come into this room here. Now I've been debated about what's actually building here for a while now. But I decided we're going to go ahead and make a little kind of prayer room just something small and simple for the family of the castle to come and uh, say their prayers and whatever else so where the window is at the back here we're going to start by putting in two layers of our spruce planks we're going to put a stair at this side a stair at this side and then three upside down ones in the center at the back here we're going to put a dark oak stair upside down another one on this side and then we're just going to run them all the way across like this until they join up to the side here, we're going to leave a one block gap, put a um, an end rod here, and then the end rod again, oops, just here, making sure that you place it on the stair facing up. They kind of look a bit like candles. And then I think in the corners here, actually, rather than the corners, we put one just in the middle. We're going to put a little flower pot like this. Now, let's go ahead. We're going to put a composter in the two corners at the back like this. And then on the wall here, we're going to go up by two blocks right in the middle. And on the third block, we're going to put in a um, a diorite wall. Now, you can use any wall that you want, guys, but I think the diorite wall just kind of blends in a little bit nicer than the others. Okay, making sure this is on the back wall. We're going to place one, two, three more on top. Then one down from the top. We're going to put one out to one side and then one out to the other side to make a nice little cross on the wall. Now, from the front here, we're going to leave a two block gap. So right where this platform is that we've just built, we're going to go one, two. On the third one, we're going to put, no, on the third one, we're going to put a stair in the middle and then one at each side. Okay, and then we could probably actually get, across, get away with doing one more. So we've got like a long row here. Leave a one block gap and we'll do five more behind like this. Okay, and I think that looks pretty good. It's just a simple little room. Now we're going to go ahead and get ourselves a lectern and then a book and quill so we can put that on the front as a little stand. So we go for our book and quill. And on the front here we're going to face right into the middle, place that there with the book and quill just on the top of it. Nice and easy. Then we're going to go ahead and get in our, um, I think I'm going to go for the acacia leaves. Now guys I am using the um, Bushy Leaves add-on by Jersey Boy. So if you guys want to download that, just look up Jersey Boy Bushy Leaves and you will find them. They will come up first on the search engine. And I think that is pretty much about it that we want to do in here. We don't want to go too crazy. Maybe we could just add a couple of chests. So let's just get chests. And I think what we'll do is we'll put one there, one there, and one in the middle. But let's crouch and place that one. There we go. Some chests in the middle. And there we go guys, we really don't need to go too crazy in this room, there's nothing much here, we've got some seats down at the front here. If you wanted to, you could go ahead and get your dark oak signs. And just to make these a little bit more like chairs, we can crouch, place one on that side, and place one on this side. And then of course we can do that on the chair at the back. There we go. And I know it's pretty simple, guys, but I think that's all we really need for a little prayer room. We don't need to go too crazy in here. I think if we start adding too much stuff, it's going to start feeling a little less like a sort of prayer room. So I think keeping it simple works better in here. Now, with that being said, we're going to come outside now. We can close these two doors. Now, we've pretty much finished most of the rooms inside the castle. We've got our war room over here. Now, if you guys haven't done it already, make sure you go ahead and get your map for your map pool over here. 
Then over this side, we've got all of our rooms over here. We've got the king's changing room, our bathroom, all of the king's rooms upstairs. I think the only room left to do inside the main part of the castle here is upstairs here. We've got two rooms basically. Well, one main room, but then there's a little attic part in this little tower. Okay, now for this room at the very top of the tower here, we're going to keep this again pretty simple. But before we start work on the actual room, let's come over here. Let's break this trapdoor. We're going to put two of our spruce slabs and we're going to just bring them all the way over to this side like this. And then I think what we're going to do is we will get our trapdoor. We put one trapdoor just there like that. And I think that looks good. Okay, right, now we're going to go ahead and we're going to break that slab there, that slab there, okay? So just not that one in the corner there. So what we can do is break that, put a lantern or a torch or something there for now. And we're going to put in our stripped spruce logs like this and bring them all the way up to the ceiling. Okay, just like that in the corner. Now, we're going to do the same thing in all the other corners as well. So make sure you put down your light if you're in survival because you don't want any mob spawning inside it. And then just put your strip spruce logs all the way up to the ceiling on two parts of the corner. Okay, now we've got our pillars in place on all four corners like so. I've gone ahead and added a couple of torches just on the ceiling for the moment, just for a bit of light. I will be moving these in a minute, guys. So if you can see what you're doing, there's no need to add these at the moment. Now, what we're going to do is we'll start from this side here. Okay, so where the stairs are, we're going to go one wall over to the side here. And we're going to start by placing pillars all the way up on this side. All the way up on this one here okay so right in the gaps of the windows and we're also going to do the one right in the middle as well okay now on this one here we're just going to do the two side pillars but not the middle one so we're going to bring a pillar all the way up here and one all the way here again using the strips spruce logs on the opposite side over here we're going to do a similar thing so we're going to bring one pillar up right here and then this one here, we're going to go ahead, break that slab, and we're going to bring a pillar all the way up to the top like so. Okay, that looks good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add some beams. So for this one, we're going to start from where the stairs are, okay, where we've got this window here, where we've got the gap in the middle on both sides. We're going to connect across beams all the way across from each beam to the beam on the opposite side of the room. Just like this, okay? We're also going to add one through the middle. And then we're going to add beams on these two as well, bringing them all the way across. Now I'm going to quickly get rid of this lantern for the minute. And then what we'll do is we'll get our chains. And from the middle here, you can see we've got this middle pillar. We're going to go one over to this side. Go one, two, and on the third one, we're going to put a chain. Do the same here, one, two, on the third one, put a chain. Turn around and do the same on the opposite side. So on the third one back and on the third block back. And then of course, we're just gonna go ahead and put in our torches or our lanterns just underneath those like this. Not like that. And then one just on there. Okay, that's looking good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to place in a upside down stair here, here and here. This is the um, the spruce stair and then one here, one here. In fact, not that one there. We're going to put one there. We're actually going to put in a, a um, spruce plank and then a stair. Okay, like that. And then again over here on this gap, a spruce plank and then a stair. And then stairs on these two. Okay, now the reason that we've got it panned that way is if we look on this side basically all we're doing is going to stair underneath these ones in these gaps here you can see we've got the two 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 blocks at the top there so to cover it we just put in a plank and then a stair on this side here plank and then stair and then in the middle here it's just easy just three plank uh three stairs just like so okay just to cover the room 
And that gives us a nice bit of shape for this room. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to start by putting in three of our cauldrons over here. Then I think what we'll do is we're going to put two of our upside down stairs there. And we're going to put in some of our cauldrons. And then in this gap over here, we're going to crouch and place, break, break that trap door on the end and pray, place, sorry guys, my words ain't coming out, and place three of your chests like this, okay? Just for a bit of storage. Now you could go ahead and use the barrels if you want to instead of the chests, but I think I'm going to go with the chest for now. Okay, now I think what we're going to do here is we're going to actually place upside down stairs against these windows. Now you won't see anything from the outside, so don't worry um, about it being seen. Because it's so high up, you really ain't going to notice anything. So just put your upside down stair in the gap. And just to even it out, we'll go ahead and do the same on this one. And then we'll put a full plank just in there, okay? So we've still got enough room to get around and go up and down the stairs without any issues. Okay, now that that's all in place, I think we're going to go ahead and in these two corners, we're going to put in a composter and we'll put one in this corner as well. Why not? Now, I think, yeah, I think what we'll do is we're going to put a stair against those two and a stair against these three and then a stair there. And then obviously that side there, we're going to just leave because that goes down towards the stairway. In the gaps here where we've got these... Um, these strips brew stocks we should get away with placing planks in there and then plank in there okay just to cover up that bit of the floor and that should make everything look nice now let's grab a water bottle and then we're gonna grab ourselves a trip wire hook and for this one here we're gonna put a tap uh, put the trip wire hook there to look like a tap we're gonna put water in the cauldrons here so this is gonna be a little brewing area now, I think, we, I mean, it's up to you guys. You could add some more brewing stands if you want to up here, but I don't think you really need more than just a couple. But if you do need more, you could go ahead and maybe put one there and one there. Okay, but I don't think we're going to need any more than that. Okay, that's looking good. Now, for a little bit of decoration, let's go ahead and cover up these over here, just like so. I think that looks pretty good and we could even get away with those ones just there if we wanted to maybe even these ones in the gaps depends how you want it looking guys if you want it to be covered up you can cover it up or you could go ahead and leave it as an upside down stair it depends how you prefer to look okay right now that's most of that in place let's get our planks again and in fact, no, not the planks, we'll get the slabs. And what we're going to do is in the grooves, we're going to run our slabs all the way across. Like this. And we're going to do that throughout all of the grooves. On the end one here, we're going to put a full block. Then run the slabs. All the way across to this side. And then on this side, it'll be a full block on the end one. Uh, for the one up here, I don't think we're going to do that. We're going to just leave that as it is. But for this uh, centerpiece one here, it blends in a little bit better. Then we're going to leave these two as they are, but we are going to put slabs through the center gaps. Okay. Then on this one here, again, we're putting a full block here. A full block here and then run slabs across the rest of the gap. And then over here, we're going to just put full blocks inside those little gaps. And then in the... In the one on the end here, put an upside down stair and then an upside down stair in that one. Okay, just to finish off those little gaps and just to cover up that bit of stone that shows. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Let's grab our spruce slabs and what we're going to do here is we're going to give ourselves a block and a half. So on on. We've got half a block from the slab there. Then we've got a full block. On the top half of the next block, we're going to put slabs going oops, going all the way across like so. Go down another block and a half. And on the top half of this block, we're going to bring slabs all the way over to here. Okay. Just for some storage, for some like shelves. Now, before we do that, actually, guys, one thing I nearly missed is break these last two. 
Then on this one here, we're going to put in a pillar going all the way up to the ceiling. And we're going to break that one and the block above it. Okay. Now, if we come up here, like this, we're going to go ahead, break these here. And then we're going to just bring that pillar all the way up to the ceiling. Now, while we're up here, we're going to put two pillars on this side, making sure that it connects to the wood and not to the stone. Okay. Leaving the pillars just like this. Then we'll put two more here. Like this, again, connecting to the wood and not to the stone, okay? And do it on the other two sides as well. There should be a three block gap right in the middle of them. Okay, now before we get carried away and start doing more work up here, let's just head back downstairs for the moment. And we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna get in our ladders. So let's get in some ladders. And we'll put them all the way up from the bottom here, all the way up to the next floor. All the way to that. So let's go ahead and maybe just put in a few of those, of valve chests, um, a few barrels. I know an anvil isn't necessarily going to be used up here. But I just think it looks good as a form of storage. And then some flower pots in the gaps. I'm also going to go ahead and put flower pots on these little, um, little sides here. Yep, I think that's it. So we've got that one there, two over that side and one there. Now, go ahead, you can put flowers or you can put some saplings or something like that in there. Whichever you think sort of fits the fits the sort of style that you're going for or what you want to put up here i'm gonna just probably just mix a few of them up so something randomly like that on the shelf here i think i'm just gonna put a blue orchid in that one sapling and then leave that one empty and yeah i think that looks good let's get ourselves some leaves of the cho of your choice i'm gonna go with the acacia ones and i'm gonna put a couple on this side couple just here and then a couple on that one okay and for a final bit of decoration i'm gonna go and use either the purple or the pink here so you can go ahead and put in some of the purple banners on the windows i'm gonna put two on the big ones from the very top so one there one one block underneath and on the smaller ones i'm gonna just put in one just like this so they kind of look a bit like blinds and right in the middle here i'm gonna put another one just there okay we're going to do the same on this side, so put two in the middle and then one at the sides like this. And again over here we're going to go one, two, one there, two there and one just in, no not there, one just on that window in there. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Okay, now I think what we're going to do here is we're going to add a little bit of carpet. So I want to use the purple and the magenta carpet here. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go for my usual kind of slightly messy look, but I want it to be done in a checkered pattern. So I'm going to make a little bit of checkered carpet, I think like that. We'll do something like that. Now we can always break whatever we don't need after so we'll just go ahead and place in a few random ones like this first of all there we go and i think that pretty much does this room now i think that looks nice we've got some lanterns in here we've got some storage we've got our um our brewing stands we've got some of our coal uh, cauldrons with some water in it We've got some, some chests over here if you want to put potions or some water bottles or something like that in there. I think that is pretty good. And yeah, I think that'll work. If we come up the top here, we're going to go ahead and this is going to be the little part of the enchantment tower. So first of all, let's go ahead and get in some of these. But as, before we do that, I think we'll get rid of those actually. Let's get our stone bricks. We're going to break the top ones there, make a pillar of three on this side. And then a pillar of three on this side. Okay. This one we can't do it. So we're going to just go ahead and break that one there. And put a four block at the top. Here we're going to just do that. Two and then one. Two and then one. And then this one over here. Do the same thing. With the stone bricks. 
Now, I'm going to actually move the lantern, so they're going to be in front of these pillars here, in front of the wooden pillars, okay? So, two and two, let's get rid of those. And two on this side, two on this side, and two on this side. Now, let's get our stone brick stairs. And what we're going to do here is we're going to go into these gaps, break two each side, leaving that one there, and we're just going to put two stairs, two stairs, just like that. And then put one up here, one up here. Let's do that on all the corners. So one here, one here, two here, and two on here. Let's do the other two corners. Okay, that's looking good. Right, now we're going to just grab and I think... Actually, no, we're not going to do that. I changed my mind. What we're going to do is we're going to put some upside down stairs in the gaps here. In these three. Like this. Um, actually, no. We can't do that. Take that away, guys. Remove that. We're going to actually put in... One there, one there. Okay, just for a bit of detail. And what is this? It's a stair. Okay. So, yeah. Let's put one here, one here. One here, one here. One here, one here. Just like that. For a little bit of detail. Now I want to just make some little areas where you can grow some stuff. So let's grab the two, um, the crimson nylium and the warped nylium. Now if you're planning a version where you don't have access to these, um, I know a few people have said they're planning some of the older versions and they don't have access, then what you can just do here is go ahead and use just soul sand. We're also going to get ourselves some trapdoors. We're going to need some never wall. We're going to need some warped roots. Some crimson roots, some crimson fungus, and some warped fungus. And what we're going to do up here is we're going to go one, two, one, two, one, two of the soul sand. And then on the opposite side over here, do exactly the same. This gap here, we're going to do the warped nylium. And then on the opposite side, the crimson nylium. And then we're going to go ahead and get our trap doors again because we um, accidentally put them away. And just around the edges, we're going to use our spruce trapdoors like this. You can actually use the dark oak trapdoors if you want to as well to create a little bit of contrast up here. And just wrap them around all the way like this. Okay, now that's all done, we're going to go ahead and we're going to put down some never wall on the soul sand. Some warped roots, like this, on both sides here, and then two of the warped fungus through the middle. On the opposite side here, we can do the same thing, but with the crimson. Just like so. And I think that looks pretty good. Okay, so first of all, let's get our chain, and right in the center point of the roof, we're going to add one, two, three chains, and then a lantern. And in fact, we'll make that two chains, and then a lantern. So it's a little bit higher. Yep, that's better. In the gaps here, where we have our little towels, we're going to jump to the top here. And basically, we're going to put in two planks, two planks, two planks, like that, all the way around. Okay, so we should basically repeat the same pattern that we already have. So the corners are going to be down by one. And then just fill the center until you're level like this. Then choose a side, and we're going to place two stairs facing out to one side, two stairs facing out to the other. Then in the gaps, we're just going to face and place in an upside down stair like this. Place two chains and then a lantern on the bottom like that. Just to brighten it up in here. Then you can go ahead, you could put in either a flower or even a brewing stand or something else on that little block there if you want to, just for a little bit of detail. And just want to repeat that on all four towers.
All right, guys, once you're done, it's up to you what you really want to do with the rest of the room. I mean, it looks pretty neat up here like this. If you want to make it look a bit messy, you could always go ahead and maybe stack a pile of barrels in the middle of the room. Maybe something along these lines. You can do something like that if you want guys just make a pile of barrels for a bit of storage if that's a little bit too much you can go ahead and just break this one off make it something along those lines you could have one odd one on one side maybe just go ahead and play around with it guys and do exactly anything that you want with the area but i think i'm going to leave these ones just like that and then take away that top one just for a bit of storage, it allows you to just store some items and stuff and kind of makes this feel like it's used for what it kind of looks like. It looks like a bit of a storage room up here. So I think that looks pretty good. All right, guys. So that is actually three rooms that we've got out of the way. So we've got this room at the top of the attic. We've got our little brewing room down here. Um, and again, this room, it does look a little empty. It does look a little empty. I wonder if we could do something else here to make this look a little bit nicer. I'll tell you what we'll do actually. I've got an idea. We'll break this one, this one, this one, and these two here, right? Then what we can do is we can actually go ahead and get in our bookshelves and we can make another little enchanting room. We have got an enchantment room in the tower, but it is very small. So we can make this one a little bit nicer maybe if we can just find our enchantment table. There we go. So we'll go ahead, we'll put some bookshelves across this back wall here. Now this is the opposite side from the stairway, okay? Then we're gonna go one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four. And if our thing's gonna go here, we can go one in on this side. And I think that we've gotta put one on this side as well to get the full, the full fifth, uh, for level 30, I think, to enchant. Let's get ourselves a sword quickly and just see. I'm pretty sure that should give us level 30. No. Oh, the carpet, of course. Uh, let's get rid of the carpet. Okay, let's try that again. Ooh, level 28. So, what we're going to do here... Okay, that's not bad. We'll take these two off this side. Two off this side, so we open it up a little bit more. And we'll go one, two, three. One, two, three. And then that should give us what we want. There we go. Level 30. Nice. And then we get one of these. We put one just there for our storage, maybe for some lapis. But yeah, I think that does it. Oh, let's get rid of that. We don't need the carpet there. So what we can do is let's get rid of the carpet here. Let's go ahead, we'll make a rug all the way across like this. And we'll get rid of these for a second. We'll make another bit all the way across to here. Let's get rid of these ones. And we'll go ahead, we'll get the purple one out and we'll make a little bit of a rotation with the color so it's not all of the same. Let's do, so we do stripes maybe. Something like that and then we'll put two there as well. Yeah, something like that. And then what we do, get our trap doors. We can then go ahead, we can place one here. Let's open that. And then if we're careful, we should be able to just open these for a second. We should be able to put one just against the edge where the carpet is. Like so. There we go. And then we should be able to open those. Yeah. I think that looks pretty good. Yeah, and of course, guys, you can always mix this up and change it to any way that you please. We can always change the brewing, brewing stand location without breaking the glass would be a good idea, though. Move the brewing stands a little bit closer just in case you wanted to. 
and of course you've got the anvil up here if you do want to do a bit of enchanting so you can always use that use the um anvil to add anything if you want to add some books or put some weapons together or stuff like that i think that looks pretty good for here okay right let's head downstairs now now guys I have been struggling thinking of what to do with some of the rooms. So whenever you have any ideas, feel free to let me know in the comments what you think we should do with any of the rooms that we've come across. So we've still got a few more rooms to do. Yeah, I've still got to decorate the... Um, if we come out here, let's quickly just take a quick look. we still got to do the inside of the gate towers. We've got the inside of the stable. The inside of this house over here still because we, still, we separated it in last episode, but we haven't done the interior. Um, we still got to do this big house here and the blacksmith over the back there. So we've still got loads more interior work to do. Plus a couple of rooms down in the basement as well. Now let's head round this way and I think... Yeah, let's head down. So we're going to go... Actually, we can use the stairway here. Let's go down the stairs here. And I'm trying to remember my way to the balcony at the back. How was it done? I think we had to go through here. Around this way. So a bit of a long journey here. Yeah, guys, this is what we're going to be decorating as well. We've got loads of work to do in here. Up to this floor here. Then in this floor here, this is the one that leads us to the balcony here. Okay. This is that balcony, just so you guys know exactly where we are. Let's close that door. And then over here in this corner, we're going to break one, two, and three. Okay. From the outside here, let's get ourselves a smooth sandstone and a door to go on as well. So we're going to get a smooth sandstone stair. And then we're going to use the spruce door. So, upside down stair and door just here. Now we've got a bit of area to play with out here. So I'm going to turn this into a little bit of a garden area. Now I'm not going to go too crazy here, but I'm just going to put in maybe a little table over here, a little kind of overhang for a little garden at the side here, maybe a few little bushes and stuff like that. Just something pretty simple. Okay, so let's start by getting in a nice big family table for a little sort of garden area here. So we're going to start, I think, over here. So let's go okay from the corner here where the door is we're going to leave a one two block gap and we're going to go one two and three um make it four break these three three and then turn it around like this then we're going to go one two three four break these three now one two three four five and then we'll do one more so let's break these five in the gap and then we're just going to do the same over this side so just extend this one so it's in line with that one leaving a three block gap okay so we've got five coming down and then three coming across in this gap here now all we're going to do is just connect slabs all the way around the edge and then fill the center with the slabs as well So as you can see guys this is a pretty big table so we've got quite a lot of room here for the royal family to sit so one block in from the corner we're going to place a slab a slab and a slab one block apart on the side here we're just going to place two from the corner here come in one and we'll place three and then this side here come in again one and we'll place one and two then we're just going to go ahead on the backs and just put two of your of your dark oak trapdoors Okay, just like this to make sort of tall looking chairs. Do two here, two here, and just continue all the way around. Okay, once that's all in place, let's go ahead. We can throw it, throw a banner, a white one or red one or whatever you want against the top trapdoor. There we go, just to make it look a bit more like a royal table. I think that looks pretty good. 
It's pretty big and if you feel like it's too big you can always narrow it and make it so that it is three wide rather than five blocks wide in total if you wanted to. Um, it's entirely up to you. Um, I mean if we come down here there's not an awful lot of room to run down the side here but it is you know it is possible. So I'll tell you what I think it is it might be a little bit too big this just um let's take away one edge we we'll put an upside down stair there and an upside down stair there and I think I might just get rid of the chairs on the end. Okay. Now again guys, this is optional. This is just a preference thing. But if you guys don't like it and you want it to be a little bit more narrow, then go ahead and do this. And then just move these chairs in by one. There we go. I think that looks a little bit better, guys. A little bit smaller. I think it was a little bit too big before. But it's entirely up to you. If you guys liked it that way, then go ahead and keep it that way. Right, now, let's make a little bit of an overhang for like a kind of, like a hanging garden. It's a little bit awkward to explain what it is exactly. So what we're going to do is where this corner wall is, we're going to go forward one and then back one. So this block just here, okay? Just in line here. Then we're going to go one, two and three on top okay from there we're gonna go one two three four five on the sixth block we're gonna put one here and again we're gonna make that four blocks high in total just like so now from this one here we're just gonna come all the way down until we're diagonally here diagonal with this block here and we're gonna go up by four again and then again we're gonna go over by five so we should now be here and then just Four more like so. Now we're going to go ahead, we're going to put in a um, campfire just there and we're going to place them all the way across and then just connect them all the way up in the front until we actually reach the um, pillars here, for the uh, fence posts here on this side, bring them all the way across. Then of course guys don't forget to get out your um, shovel and put all of the flyers out. There we go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to just make this look a little bit more like a kind of um, like a garden platform. So we want to have some leaves sort of draping over the top. So we're going to go ahead and let's break this corner. This one, we we'll break one in front of it, we we'll go one over, one over, and then one, two, and then maybe diagonal here. Then we're going to place one here and then just fill these gaps all the way over. Now I'm going to place one against this side and then one and two underneath and break the top one, okay? So that it actually looks like it's draping over the corner. Okay, let's do the same on this one. Break that top one. Okay, now it still looks a little bit empty. So we're going to make a little bit on this corner as well. So let's put one here. We go one. Then I think we're going to just go one here as well. So a bit of a kind of a zigzag shape. Uh, maybe even one here as well. This time, we're just going to bring it down one and break the top one. Okay. Yeah, something like that looks pretty good and then finally we're just going to make a little bit over towards this corner so let's do something like that and again guys you haven't got to copy my design or layout just something to you that feels a little bit of a natural sort of path for the leaves to kind of sort of fall i'm going to add another one just here as well and bring it down by one there we go now, one thing that I think looks really effective here, guys, and I've never seen anyone do it, but I think it looks really, really cool, is get some of your kelp like this. And because now we place food onto the campfires after you put them out, so now we can go ahead and just place stuff on here. 
So we can randomly place a couple of leaf, a couple of kelp on here, and they look a bit like fallen leaves. So if we just randomly put one or two or three leaves in certain places, it kind of looks like leaves have just fallen off, which I think looks really effective on the top of this. Of course, it's not something you're going to see very much and it's not going to necessarily be seen, but it's just that little detail, you know, that just adds, just adds a little bit of, um, I don't know, a little bit of style to it, not style, a little bit of a messy look, but it just stands out. Something along these lines, I think. See, that just looks really cool. It just makes it look like there's some leaves that have just fallen off. Yeah, I think that looks really cool. Now, underneath here, I think what I'm going to do, uh, because this is kind of going to be like a kind of garden area, I guess. Let's go ahead and put in a little table. In fact, I'll tell you what, before we do that, let's add some chairs. So we're going to put in two stairs here of the dark oak and then two just here. Okay, like a little seat. Let's go to there. And then where is that? That's right from the corner. And then maybe two just there. In fact, I think it would look better there, even though... It feels a little, little over. Yeah, that looks better. So we go with something like that. Let's go one, two, and three. And then break the first two like this. Then we're going to go one. Oops, not on top. On here. One, two, three with the slabs. And then we can put in a stair against the fence for the minute. And then one net. Break the extra one. And that gives us a little table here where I thought we could probably put some plants on here, you know, make this look like a little bit of a garden after all. So let's put in, um, over there actually, we'll put in one of those. The composter, I think we'll leave it here. I don't want it to attach. So we'll put another one just, just here behind that block. Yeah, that'll do. And then we'll put one there and one there. Then I'm just going to grab the acacia leaves again, and I think we'll put one on top there. We could put another one on top like this. Just like so. Let's do something the same on this one. And that makes that one look like it joins us. Bring that one in just a tad. Yeah, that looks good. And then this one over here as well. Perfect. Okay, so now that we've got that in place, let's get some flower pots and we're going to just get some of our flowers. So flower pots. And then here, guys, you can use any flowers or even saplings of your choice for, um, for making this just look a little bit nice. So let's just get a few different colors here. Um, maybe some of those. Maybe one of those and one of those. We can go a little crazy. Why not? So let's put in some flower pots across the top here. We'll put in some crimson roots, some of the blue uh, warped roots. A sapling, one of those, one of those. You can even go ahead and just put a couple on the floor for a little kind of um, bit of a display. So here we can go ahead and use maybe one of them, one of them and one of those. Yeah, it just look, looks like a little bit of a flowery kind of garden. I think that looks pretty good. Now, one thing to remember as well, guys, is in 1.16 now, you can add a tag to a item frame by doing a command where you can make the item frame invisible, which is great for decorating, but you can't use it in survival. So I'm not going to be using it to make some extra decorations and stuff around the place because you guys ain't going to be able to use it if you're playing in survival. So... For now, we're just going to go with the survival style of the game and what we can use in survival. So, over here for the table, let's add in a few flower pots because they look a little bit like um, like cups, a bit like mugs, or mugs or beer glasses or something like that. Let's add a few of those. And then it's just some general decorations. So maybe some sea pickles, some turtle eggs, 
Um, we can get some item frames and put some food on the table, maybe. Um, let's get some item frames. And seems we're eating in like a bit of a garden. Why not add in some berries? We could be eating some berries or something along those lines. Maybe a bit of watermelon as well. Maybe some fruit. So let's go ahead and maybe put in a few of these. We'll put in some watermelon, some berries, maybe some more berries on that one. Um, maybe we could just do... Hmm, let's get a cake actually. I never, you've never really used the cakes to decorate, but we could have a couple of cakes out here. Gee, we'll have just one cake because that's a pretty big cake. And then maybe some of these on the table too. Something like that. And I think that will pretty much do just to keep it looking a little bit sort of um, a little bit decorated. Let's give this guy over here a bit of watermelon too. Yeah, why not? There we go. I think that looks pretty good. Now, with that being said, I think we do need a little bit more detail here. So let's go ahead and let's get some barrels. We're going to get in a tripwire hook as well. And I think we're going to actually, we're going to need to have somewhere to get a drink. So let's also get a dark oak stair. And hmm. Yeah, we could put it here, just underneath the shade, so it doesn't get hot. Put in an upside down stair, three across here, and then one just here as well. We put two barrels like this, one over this side, a couple of those, and then I think we're just going to get ourselves some of the flower pots, and then we'll go one, two, and maybe three. Here we go. Some mugs there to get a drink, should you want one. There we go. I think that is looking pretty good. All right. So now that we've got that in place, let's go ahead and get our composters again and some more of the acacia leaves. And I think over this side here, we're going to go ahead and go right in the middle of the center here, right where the windows are. We're going to put a composter on each one and then a couple of leaves above it. Something like that. I think that looks pretty good. Then I think we can actually add a couple of little kind of rosebush gardens down here. So let's get some grass. We'll get ourselves some spruce trap. Oh, we go for the dark oak trapdoors. Let's change the color a little bit. And then we're going to get ourselves some of the berries and a bit of bone meal so we can quickly bone meal them up so you guys can see how it looks. So let's go ahead. I think. We put three across here, and of course we're going to surround that with our trapdoors. We'll do another one over here. So this one can go all the way over to this one, I think. Oh, not the stairs. Make sure it's a trapdoor. Put in your berries. Go ahead and put in some of the. Um, the bone meal, if you want, you can wait for them to grow if you wish. They do grow pretty quick, so there's no need to really be concerned about bone meal in them. All right, there we go. That looks pretty good. Now, I think the one last thing we just need is a little bit of lighting. So let's just get our, um, our lanterns and some chains. And I think what we're going to do here is we're going to start by... Getting rid of that one single slab there. We don't need that one. And I think we're going to go for a lantern here. Skip this one, then in the middle of this piece. Skip this one, in the middle of that one. We don't want to put too many of them around because they do just look a bit too much if you have loads of them. Over here, we're going to go ahead, come underneath this edge. We're going to actually get some of our um, polished andesite and just cover this edge like this. Be sure to cover just the um, the dark oak planks here like this, and then you'll have a little lip where the slab goes across. Okay, we can leave that there. That's not a problem. Now over here, I'm gonna go. I think one, two, three. 
maybe the fourth one here and I'm gonna put in a lantern now where is that that's in line with that one there so we'll go in line with this one and then this one so we're gonna go on to this block here and we're gonna go one here one here of the eye of the chains and then a lantern now there should be a three block gap between these then we'll leave another three block gap and then we're gonna go one two three and i think four and then we're gonna add our lantern yeah i think that looks pretty good and then I think finally guys, I'm just going to get a couple more of the composters and the leaves and we're going to put a couple just over here. One there and one there. Okay, two by two. Just for a little bit of detail. Just neat and up. I mean, look how much different it already looks at the back of the castle here. That adds so much life to the area. It really does. Okay, I think I'm pretty happy with the way this is shaping up guys. Now this is looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and just quickly head on to the inside of the castle now. And I think I think most of what I wanted to get done today now is done. Now that settles out a lot of the rooms. So if we come in here, we now have this area to finish up. Now this just this is just for the inside of the castle. So now we've got to do this bit here. Which I think in here, I'm going to start doing some rooms. I think we're going to have to make a queen's bedroom. We're going to have to make some other royal royal bedrooms for the royal family. So maybe we'll have like the, the queen's bedroom. Uh, maybe a couple of kids bedrooms. And then maybe just a little chill out zone on the rest of this. Okay. This stairway is going to go all the way up to the top of the tower. We're going to make a nice stairway that blends in. Coming down here, we're going to be extending in our kitchen, which is going to go on the inside here. Then over here, I don't know what we're going to do with this bit of space here just yet. We'll probably fill it up with some tables and an area just for anyone to generally sit down and chill out. We've got our walkway that comes across over here. We will work out something to do with this to make it look nice and put in some lanterns for the ceiling and stuff. And then I think the castle interior itself the main castle is more or less done so once we've done those bits we've got two rooms down here and then something to do here guys if you have any ideas what we can put against this wall any ideas let me know i'm thinking of doing maybe a water feature um, because i can't really think of anything else that will work so i might put a little water feature in here or something like that but if you guys have any better ideas then please be sure to let me know inside here this is pretty much all done all we've got is one room over that side and one room over that side and i know a few of you people a few of you guys all said sorry i was saying people a few of you guys um you said that this would be good as an art room so we could go ahead put some posters up in here maybe a couple of little seats and make this into a kind of art room i think would look pretty good in here actually over the other side over here i don't know what to do with this room it's pretty small and I know a lot of people have been asking for a smelter, but I don't know if I can fit one in here. So we'll have to see how that goes. Uh, but we may be able to fit one in here at some point. So let's just wait and see what happens with that one. Now, other than that, guys, I think the rest of the, um, the interior is on the buildings which are on the outer part of the castle. So on the walls and that, the ones that we've done. So if we come out the front door here, We're going to have the stables over here. So we've got the house down the bottom over here. Okay, so we've got the room above, which goes all the way across the top here. So we're going to have all of that to decorate. This part over here, which we have separated, which is another outhouse. This is going to be like a guest house. So we can come in here, come up the stairs here, and we've got this bit of the room here. So this is going to be another little guest house. We're going to have plenty of rooms in here for the guests. Here, I guess, will be some worker houses. And I don't know why we don't have a door here. Let's quickly grab that spruce door over there. And what we'll do is we'll place that one over here. So let's go ahead and put in our spruce door here. 
Um, while I'm in here, let's quickly just get our spruce planks and we're gonna break those and bring this all the way across on the same level, okay? Now we will be let do it sorting out that lower part as well when we do the lower part of the house. Um, but for now, let's just go ahead, fill this in, break these two here and fill this in with the spruce planks. So we still got the top of this house to decorate. We'll probably get rid of some of these walls that we don't need in place. Um, get rid of them out of the way. If we head over here, and again, we need to get ourselves some doors for this one because we um, we don't want people to just be able to walk all the way through. So we'll have to make some kind of door here. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I'll do for a door here just yet. I'll probably do something like we have here. So then we got here to decorate. We'll have to decorate down there as well. And then also on the floor above. So here we can come out onto the landing. So we'll have a little bit of work to do up here. Not too much, but we'll have a little bit of decorating. Um, and then I'm not certain. Oh, we've got the blacksmith as well. We've got the blacksmith. So can we get out? No, we can't. Let's go back this way. We got the blacksmith. Oh, and the other outhouse. There's another outhouse. So, go right here. So, we've got that big house right in front of us. And we've got the room below it as well. Below it, there's another big room there. So, we're going to have some rooms in there to do. We've got the blacksmith over here to do as well. The lower part and the upper part of the house. So, there's... I mean, I mean, it's certainly coming together nicely now, guys. But there is still a lot of work to be done inside the castle. Now, before we do finish up, guys, I do not have a clue how many more episodes it's going to be. I don't have a full plan of what is done in every episode. I kind of do it one at a time. I keep getting people ask me, when's the castle going to be done? How many more episodes? I really don't know, guys. It's hard to say. I think that we will probably finish most of the castle by episode 30. But I'm not certain. There's a chance that it could go further if I come up with another random idea or something that I decide to do with the castle. It could take longer. But I'm estimating that it will roughly be finished around episode 30 somewhere. But like I say, guys, don't hold me to it because I don't know just yet. Now, with that being said, guys, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up just there. So, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to smash that like button. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Just don't forget to hit that bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. But for now, this is Blue Nerd signing out, and I will catch you guys in the next one.